confident and it's great to have you here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to connect to and work with local APIs and databases while building your applications on the AppSmith Cloud instance. Taking a look at the screen here, I have an application created on the AppSmith Cloud instance. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to see how to connect to and work with your local APIs and databases. We'll be doing this using a tool called NGROC. NGROC is a tool that allows you to tunnel and expose services running on your local host. I'll be leaving a link in the description below to help you install and set up NGROC on your local computer. I already have NGROC installed on my local computer, so I'm going to be skipping the installation step. So heading back to the application, what I want to do would be to connect a local MongoDB instance I have running. Taking a look at this, you can see I have a local MongoDB instance, and I like to connect the movie store database to my AppSmith application. To do this, I'll be using NGROC as I said earlier. So I'll need to open up a terminal window. And right here, I have a terminal window open. And what I want to do is to expose my local MongoDB instance. So to do that, I'll need to type NGROC TCP because this is the protocol that MongoDB connects over, and then the port I have MongoDB running locally, which in this case is 27017. Hitting enter would create the tunnel, so let's just give that some time. And we can see that a URL has been generated by NGROC from which I can connect to the local MongoDB. So I'm just going to copy this URL, and then head back to the AppSmith application. Now I can go ahead to create a new data source and then select MongoDB. So let's call this local Mongo. And right here where it says the host address, I'm just going to paste in um, the text I copied from NGROC. And for the port, I also need to copy that from the terminal. So let's head back and copy this from the terminal. And I can paste that right here. And lastly, I would want to specify the database I would be connecting to. So this is going to be movie store. And when that's done, I can click on the test button to see if everything looks good. And we can see that we have a success message. So I can go ahead to save this. And then since this has been saved, I can create a new query. So to test this, let's create a query that fetches customers. So let's call this get customers. And this is going to be reading from the customer collection. And for the query itself, we'll just fill in an empty object. So we can click on the run button. And we can see that we have a success response um, showing us the data coming from that query. We've been able to do this by connecting to our local MongoDB instance using NGROC. I also like to show you how to connect to an API server you have running locally. For this, I have a simple Node.js server, which returns a JSON array shown right here whenever a request is made to the home route. And this server runs on port 3000. So let's go ahead to start up the server. So this is going to be node index.js. And here we see that the server has started on port 3000. Now we need to use ngrock to forward that server on port 3000. So let's open up the terminal and quit the previously running uh, process we had for MongoDB. So to expose the server we have on port 3000, we will need to type in ngrock HTTP port 3000. And NGROC is going to generate a URL that the request can be forwarded to. So I'm just going to copy this. And now I'm going to head back to the AppSynth application and um, access this API. So I'm going to head to the API section and create a new API. Here I can paste in the URL I copied from NGROC and click on the run button to see if everything works fine. And here you can see that I have the success message and the response from my local server is shown up right here. So this is how you can connect to your local databases and API while building your apps on the AppSmith Cloud instance. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and get subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.